This is the tale of two cities. One rich, upscale and protected by guards, and the other poor, marginalized and criminalized. You know, this inequality has been the reality in Rio de Janeiro for decades. And the Olympics has only made it worse, much worse. In the lead up to the games, entire poor communities were evicted to make way for Olympic construction, new buildings, parking lots. It's been the city's priority, the Olympics above all else. Teachers say they haven't been paid in months and money's been cut from school budgets while the city diverted funds to the games. In response, Brazilians have hit the streets. Back in June, Rio's governor declared a state of financial emergency and the federal government stepped in with $830 million of support. But were teachers paid? Hmm. Just days before the games, protesters called for an end to segregation in the city. The police violently responded to activists who tried to stop him with a torch. Meanwhile, the city has led an increasing assault on its poor favelas. Hundreds of military and police raided neighborhoods just days before the start of the games in this last ditch hunt to weed out criminal gangs and individuals. But as is normally the case, poor and innocent residents are caught in the crossfire in the coming weeks. Olympics and Rio itself will capture the world's attention with its stunning beaches, its samba and soccer. But those cameras will ignore the reality for most of Rio's residents, the side of the city that Rio does not want you to see.